Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will compare the speeds of the Croxia Xeria 500GB SSD and the Samsung 980-500GB SSD. This test will be conducted with the SSDs installed on the mainboard. In upcoming videos, we will perform speed tests by connecting the SSDs using a C-Type USB connection. We'll start with the Cloxia SSD first. After installing the SSD onto the motherboard, remember to format it once you boot up the computer. Often, when forgotten, people assume the SSD isn't functioning properly. Moreover, it's crucial to verify that the port on your motherboard and the length of the SSD are compatible when purchasing an SSD. The SSDs I'm using in this video are the latest generation and are commonly used in computers available on the market. By the way, with the Cloxy SSD that you purchased as 500GB, you can utilize 466GB, as Cloxy reserves 34GB for system use. Nonetheless, this is still better than Samsung's offering of 465GB, which we will also observe in the Samsung test we'll conduct together. Now it's time for the Samsung SSD test. Just to clarify, this is not Samsung's EVO or Pro version. It's the standard Samsung 980, specifically the M2 port version. Just as you'll observe in the results a bit later, this Samsung SSD boasts faster read and write speeds compared to the Cloxia SSD. Of course, these speeds are obtained from tests conducted on the motherboard. Our upcoming tests will involve the enclosed SSDs and include a temperature assessment. 